We're going to do a really crazy survey today. It's been asked by one of my uh, followers on YouTube. And the basic question is, do you wash your bum after toilet? And you might think that's a bit crazy. Why would you ask that? Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how in Islam and possibly Judaism from my studies, we'll have to see if we can find a Jew. We're going to go around all the speakers' corner and we're going to ask people about hygiene. And in Islam, and as I say, some, maybe possibly Judaism, we're the only people who wash their bums after the toilet. Now you might think, who cares? Well, let's think about this, right? We wash our hands after going to the toilet. Okay, you wouldn't, you know, if you, uh, a friend of I, uh, uh, mine just before this ex explained, like, if you had Nutella on your hand, would you wipe off Nutella with tissue or would you wash it off your hand? You would wash it because the, the, the you know, the Nutella would not come off. The same with your bum, okay? If you, you know, clean your bum with tissue, that's not going to do much good, but it will do good if you wash your bum uh, and of course people just to kind of before we get into going around to talking to everybody I did some historical research it's actually a very new thing for people in Europe to actually wash their hands only until like 1850 ish did doctors start washing their hands okay and when they started washing their hands um, the number of deaths of babies at birth dramatically reduced it used to be one-fifth of babies used to die um, during childbirth and after people washed their hands only two percent died after childbirth and much better than that now let's go and let's start disturbing a few people all right so i'm doing a survey you ready for a survey do you wash your hands after you go to the toilet yes that's good. And do you wash your bum after you go to the toilet? Yes. Is which? What's your religion? I'm Muslim. Cool. And does that is, is that like? Uh, do you, does it surprise you that a lot of uh, people who are not Muslim don't wash their bums after the toilet? Yeah, a lot of people uh, try to complain about the Muslim being terrorist. Oh no, it's nothing about terrorists. It's a different topic. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just go and ask a few more people. Let's go spread it out. Let's look for a non-Muslim, possibly. Let's, uh, let's ask some English people. Hello, we're doing a survey. Funny question. Ready for a funny question? You could try. Oh, okay. Just, just, I can ask a question. You don't have to answer it. Do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Of course. Do you wash your bum after going to the toilet? Yes. Is that, is that you a Muslim? Uh, what? How come do you do that? Because in England, very few people wash their bums after going to the toilet. Uh, in our religion, we need to be clean at any time. So what's your religion? I Islam. Islam, okay. So now, so far we've got two Muslims, but actually it's very rare for English people generally to wash their bums. It's just like I was saying, you know, my friend here said, if you had Nutella, you know the chocolate Nutella on your hand, you wouldn't use the, just the tissue, you would wash it off. Yes. Otherwise, it will stick on your bum and it will be disgusting. So thank you yes. very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's find a non-Muslim. We keep finding Muslims. This uh, whole place has been taken over by Muslims. Okay. Hi, we're doing a survey. I'm looking for a non-Muslim and I know you're a Christian. It's really hard to find a Christian or anybody who's not a Muslim here. What do you think about that? Are you going to lie about me on the next video title that you put up of me? Well, let's see how it goes. I didn't lie the first time. But anyway, but anyway, you can answer the question. It's very simple. Do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? It's a hygiene. We're doing a survey and we're doing a hygiene survey. So do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Absolutely. Great. Do you wash your bum? Do you wash your bum after going to the toilet? No, it's a hygiene question. So in the, you might be surprised. Are we both in shot? Okay, so the reason why we're asking is that most people don't realize that if you just use a tissue like most people do, it doesn't clean the dirt. You know like if you had Nutella on your hand, okay, and you just use tissue, would that clean the Nutella off your hand? It wouldn't, would it? No. 
So, so, but if you wash, if you use water, it would clean it, right? So, what does this, what does this have to do with God? Oh, because no, no I'll tell you what's to do with God. Because the Muslims and I think the Jews, okay, they do wash their backsides with water, which is more hygienic. And maybe people don't realize the importance of hygiene. Did you know that only about eight till 1850, a little bit over a hundred years ago, okay, people, the doctors in Europe didn't wash their hands. And because of that, one fifth of babies died um, at childbirth. Did you know that? That, that? I didn't know that. No. But you know what's really important is that your heart is clean with God. I and mean, that's what Jesus said. Jesus said, I mean, it doesn't matter. He said to the religious leaders of the time, they were like white, whitewashed tombs. But do you believe in hygiene? Do you believe in hygiene? Inside, inside they were dirty. Okay, we're moving on to the next one. So, so you don't want to talk about it, no, no, it's not one of the long videos. Come on, move on. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, though. Okay, we're looking for somebody who's not Muslim because they've all the Muslims got the same answer, which is a good answer. But do you want to get in there? Okay, so I doesn't matter what I'm doing. This, I'm doing a survey and I'm saying, do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Yes, I do. Okay, do you wash your bum after going to the toilet? After. Yes. No. You don't wash your bum yeah, with water. After, after I finish doing my finger, I wash alhamdulillah, yes. That's good, yeah. Because what we're doing, we're doing a survey about hygiene, okay, and that people... Do that, man. As a Muslim, you should do that anyway. That's exactly yeah. right. So, but you... Muslim is a clean Muslim. Exactly. You know, like they say, uh, cleanliness and, 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 is half... In the Nadar Islam. That's why they say cleanliness yeah. is part of Islam. Exactly. Agreed. No, we're doing a survey at the moment. Yeah. You can, you can oh, answer you the know. question. I'm a Muslim. So, yeah. Yes. But anyway, the point is. My man's a Jesus and blah blah blah. Okay. We can talk about it if you want, but we're doing a survey at the moment. Okay, don't worry about him. Let's go. Let's move on. We're doing a survey. We're just trying to get. It might be a funny question. You might like it. You might not. It's up to you. You can answer or not. Do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Yes. Do you wash your bum after going to the toilet? Uh, when I'm in Japan. Ah, very interesting. They've got some different cultural things, right? Okay, and the reason why I'm asking is logically, which is kind of like a hygiene survey, but also like, um, like, let's say, let's move into the future of improving hygiene. So only about a hundred years ago, even doctors didn't wash their hands, and because of that, one fifth of children would were died at childbirth, right? And then straight after people started washing their hands, only two percent so died. So it's a massive improvement mm. so in the same way we're talking about general hygiene and it's a way of like considering different perspectives right because in, in Islam and I think Judaism and I think if we could go into Christianity Orthodox Christians possibly would have washed their backside because it's part of the teachings um, let me ask you a question about Nutella if you had Nutella on your hand and you I'm just taking it from my friend here who I spoke to a minute ago right he, he gave me this idea if you had Nutella on your hand would you use tissue to take it off or would you wash it off I'd probably lick it off Oh yeah, but I wouldn't lick it off my bum though. No. That's the problem. No. So you wouldn't lick it off. So that, then it comes back to using tissue or water. So yeah. would you use tissue or water to wipe off the Nutella? I'd probably use water and then use the tissue to dry the water. Okay, cool. And so do you see the, the similar logic with the bum? Like if you, don't, if you just use a tissue and it's actually true, you don't really clean yeah, the bacteria off. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? I like the accent. Um, Australia. Australian. Thank you for taking part. No worries. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Let's get one more person. We're trying to get different backgrounds. Come here. I'm just doing a survey. No. Okay. First person. We're doing a sur funny questions. Do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? That's all. Anybody, please. No. Oh. Hey. How are you doing, Simon? We're doing a survey right in the middle of a survey can you answer it maybe right do you do you <laughs> okay do you wash your hands after going to the toilet yeah 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 do you wash your bum after going to the toilet we have to isn't it it's oh nice. you're a muslim yeah. i think the muslims are taking over this place we have, to, we have to do it you see it's part of human nature even non-muslims 
let me say this even if you're not a Muslim right whether who you are whether who you are what you are you still have to go and wash your hands after you go to the toilet it's natural thing because we release it well, it's a clean thing I don't know if it's natural because you know in the cavemen they don't understand it but now we're becoming more high-tech like all I really want to say in the point of this video is to prove how high-tech Islam is we're hundreds of years ahead of everybody like even now in the modern West people don't wash their bums what, what do you think about what, it? what is what is high-tech Islam that's what I don't understand no, Islam is high-tech compared to in terms of technology or understanding how the world works how comes it's mainly Muslims who clean their backsides which is an important hygiene thing right and the rest of the modern West who supposedly have so much science and they know about germs and they don't do it that's kind of the point of this video well I'm just going around disturbing people but you know the interesting difficulty here is I can't find a non-muslim Muslims have taken it Muslims have taken it alhamdulillah we'll find one eventually at speaker's corner let's see if we can find a come on a non-muslim come on it really does look like Muslims have taken over Speaker's Corner. Hi, hi. We're doing a really funny survey. We're just asking people, first of all, do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Would you mind answering that? Just a, we're just, it's the last person. To be honest, we're actually trying really hard. Uh, and you might be, are you a Muslim by any chance? Sorry, what? Are you a Muslim by any chance? No, okay, we're actually looking for non-Muslims because everybody seems to be Muslim here, so it's really hard to find. Not a, we're trying to find a spread, right? Okay, so my quick question is, if my quick question is, do you wash? Uh, two, a couple of questions. Do you wash your hands after going to the toilet? Yes. Do you wash your bum after going to the toilet? Not all the time. Okay. Okay. Now, let me ask you a funny related question. If you had Nutella, I'd, does Nutella come from Switzerland or Germany? Are you German? You sound German. I'm from Germany, but I'm, I think it's from Germany, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. If you had Nutella all over your hand, would you just use a tissue or would you use water? I would wash it, honestly. Right. So, would you say your bum is more dirty than your hands after the toilet? Uh, probably, yeah. So would you say, with the same sort of logic, you wouldn't want to just use tissue with poo on your bum, you would use water? Yeah, water would, would be the, the uh, better, uh, better option, I think, yeah. I mean, the Japanese toilets are like... You're the second yeah. person to say that. I didn't know. I knew Japanese toilets were pretty cool, but I forgot yeah, about like that. These, these little showers for your ass you can buy, like the, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, so Muslims, yeah. this is why I was looking for a non-Muslim, because all the Muslims wash their backsides with a mini shower gun, which is like yeah, a mini shower head. It's more convenient, and you don't waste that much of the toilet paper and shit. Yeah. So it's and it's more hygienic, it right? More hygienic, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't like irritate one of the most sensitive parts of your body. Yeah. So, and so I mean, what do the same thing, but I don't know. I was I was raised with toilet paper. What should I do? So you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just as a final thought, because you're the last person, um, what do you think about this idea that so many people, despite knowing about germs and this kind of thing? And logically, you should wash your hand, wash your bum with a toil, uh, with water. How isn't it surprising? Or, or tell me your thoughts in any way that all the Muslims here do wash their backsides with water after toilet. But generally in Europe, that is not the case. Even though in Europe, people know about science and technology and they're very advanced. What are, you, what are your thoughts about that? Any thoughts? Of, you don't have to say anything it's particular. It's just convenience and the way you learned it from the from your childhood on. So you never waste a second thought about having a better way. You know what I mean? Okay, so cool. I think it's, it's some kind of that. That you're like are born into this and then you're just adapt what you see by your, from your parents or in, what you see your parents doing and then you never ask a question behind of should I rather wash my bum instead of wiping it, you know? Yeah, and you know what? You don't see many surveys like this, right? So people don't know. I mean, I mean, Europeans would do, would never think about this it's question, a, right? Topic about just cleaning your bum. I mean, I don't know why it's so... But can you see the importance? Or maybe you don't know the importance. I see the importance, yeah. but... Like, like, did you know that uh, it's only been a recent thing in European history that the doctors clean their hands and since they so um, 
I think it was about 1850 when a doctor realized that when you wash your hands and then you help deliver a child, you have far greater chance that the child survives. So before they wash their hands, one fifth of the babies died. That's a huge amount, one fifth, right? And after they wash their hands and started doing it, only 2%. So anyway, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. So what is this all about? Oh, you can. I'll give you my YouTube channel, okay. uh, and I do. I talk. I generally do happiness classes, how to improve your life based on Islamic ideas. Even if you're not Muslim, okay. you can benefit from the ideas. just ideas like this. Hygiene yeah. is good for you. It's good for your health and things like just that. Like one simple thing to like get people hooked onto this thinking behind stuff or what yeah so i do a whole happiness course but i'll stay i'll end the video then i'll share my i'll give you my card yeah. all right you can you can end recording there